If you know how social media works, there is very little that you can actually do about what goes viral and what people put up. They put it up, they're free to put it up. If you, if you block them, for example, sometimes you might not see what they've said, but other people will see it. So I would, if it's something really bad, I would block the person, for example, so that I don't need to see what's happening. And at the same time, I would increase my good work. So if I put a tweet a day, I would put four tweets a day, five tweets a day, something really good. And you know, we try and flood the social media with that which is brilliant. So it eclipses that which is not. Unfortunately, it's the other way around today where the, what's bad is eclipsing what's good. So if we can, you know, I, for those of you who might know a little bit about how Twitter works, for example, you have these hashtags that start trending. And sometimes I've been watching how we can, as Muslimin, create a trend by, you know, flooding Twitter with something great. But don't be foolish in the way you say things, because you need to remember it's a, such a big platform of da'wah, not just for Muslims, but even for non-Muslims and even for the enemies. This afternoon I had an interview with one of the stations and they were asking me about uh, what's my dream in, in a nutshell with all this da'wah. And I said, look, that what I would like to achieve Obviously, there are so many things, but one very important point that I always think about is those who hate Islam so much, the minimum that I would like to see them getting to is the realization that Islam is not a bad religion. That's all. So if I can do that, and if Allah has used me to do that, we've actually dropped down the enmity of the enemy, which is a big success. And how is that going to happen? By living Islam, by talking Islam, by showing that Islam is actually a beautiful faith. So on social media, there are so many dirty things that go viral and some of us retweet it and repost it and share it. And it's dirty, it's bad, it's unacceptable. If you take a look at the amount of sharing that goes on of dirty songs of people and you know, the, the fashion world and nudity and so much, it is in the millions, to be honest with you, 100,000, 500,000. You look at YouTube, the number 2 million in three days, 5 million. And guess how many Muslims are there? It's difficult for us to say, but I'm telling you a big percentage of that will also be Muslimin. Because sometimes you out of your inquisitive nature wants to say, okay, let me just see what's going on. So you see, to be honest, you go and look at the bad and you want to look at more bad. Just say Astaghfirullah and set it aside, delete it or perhaps unfollow. Another very interesting point I'd like to raise, and I don't, I don't pry on anyone. To be honest with you, I don't even have the time. But sometimes for interest and in order to learn, you see a few Muslims and you say, okay, let's see what type of people these people follow or these people, you know, like. So now you, you go back to their Facebook page, a random person on the globe and do it. See what happens and tell yourself, is this the condition of the Muslim Ummah? When you see, for example, out of the 500 people we're following, those who might give you religious messages are just two or three. The rest of them are Justin Bieber. And someone told me he's a Yemeni. His name is actually Babair. I said, no ways. It's not correct. Not at all. And, and then someone else comes up with some other person. And I don't know the, the other names. There is a very, very famous woman, uh, Perry, if I'm not mistaken, Katie Perry. That's the name. And the Muslims are the ones who actually, wow, this is good and that's good. Come on, relax. This is going to go down in your book of deeds forever and ever. You'd rather just say, look, unfollow, done. Not because we don't, we hate and we this, but it's just because we want to follow a good example. That's it. And don't be shy to say, okay, someone looks at your timeline and they see, okay, there's only people who are calling towards goodness. What's wrong with that? Nothing at all. Don't be shy.